Well, we are officially in spooky season and Halloween falls on a weekend this year. Now, granted, the pandemic might be putting a damper on things, but it doesn't have to. We can take Halloween into our own hands and we're speaking with DIY expert Melissa Duronfont to learn how. So Halloween um, has been a little different this year, obviously. And we believe th um, Thanksgiving and Christmas may be a little different. So we really need to get creative this year. Um, to help with that, I've actually partnered with Michaels to share some tips and tricks and some Halloween hacks um, just to inspire people to celebrate their making. Um, some of those things, what do you mean by celebrate their making? Some arts and crafts. You can do things like contactless trick-or-treating um, or, you know, reimagine your party um, by doing a Zoom backdrop party, just what I did right here. I love it. It definitely looks fabulous. I love that. Um, now, what about some DIY projects? Do you have any tips for us in, the, in that department? For going back to the virtual Halloween parties, um, what I did right here, the backdrop, I used a, a ghost garland right here um, by using pom-poms. People love pom-poms right now. That's the in thing right now. So use a pom-pom maker, some scissors. That's all you need in yarn. Make it into like a little ball to shape it up into a ghost. Ghost. <laughs> you can also do some easy spiders. Use some pipe cleaners and glue it on with some hot glue gun. And voila, you have a little spider. Um, some other things that you can do is that fits the CDC guidelines are actually masks. So simple to do. I just did this one, seriously, 10 minutes. <laughs> what you do is just use the Cricut Joy right here. You can take it everywhere with you, to the hotel, to the bathroom, um, use infusible ink, heat press it, and voila, you have a mask for yourself. If you want to host a little gathering, depending on the CDC guidelines in your region, you can you can do like a little competition of who has the scariest mask, the silliest mask, you know? Um, and other things that you can do that are DIY is pumpkins, push pins, bedazzle them, have a competition of who has the best pumpkin. Those are all really great ideas. I love that. Uh, the ghost especially, it's, it's beautiful. We can do this all day. I, I love puns. All right, but we're going to keep going. So um, what, do you, what would you say uh, as far as advice or recommendations when it comes to ha like haunted house visits? Because obviously, you know, like you said, a lot's changed this season. Everything has changed. So um, what you can do is create your own mini haunted house in your front porch, you know? People love, people are into this so whole social media thing and they love photo ops. So you can get together with your, um, your neighborhood, your community and make a competition of who has the best backdrop, photo mini haunted house in, in your front lawn. Um, just like this, you could take this out, put it in front, have people do a photo op and voila, they'll, it'll help the community and have them have like a little thing to do for Halloween. Um, another thing you could do is deck out your front porch. Um, there's so many Michael's decor that you can get, such as witches hats, have them hang and make it look hollow, hollow, um, Harry Potter-esque, so to speak. Um, other things you can do if you're, not, if you're not interested in that, then just bring the decor back inside and do a little backdrop like how I did right here and voila, Zoom party. Who has the best Halloween Zoom backdrop? Awesome ideas. Now, I personally know that it's going to make me a little sad not to be able to give the treats out to the kids around the neighborhood uh, in my particular area. Do you have any advice on a fun and maybe safe way to still offer treats? Absolutely, Hattie. Um, I've been a nurse for so long, and hand sanitizing is the way to go um, other than, you know, hand washing. So make a little hand sanitizing station um, in front of your, your porch, you know, um, have a little sign that says sanitize and grab a mask. Then you can have it have fun and have a blast. This is so easy to make 10 minutes just to use the, the cricket joy again, the cricket joy. Um, or you can do a little Christmas tree, not really, not really Christmas, not using the ornaments, but have a Christmas tree outside, have a grab bag, have ring pops so the kids can grab it. It fits the CDC guidelines and it's COVID friendly. Um, if you don't want to participate in giving the kids cavities, then just make stickers using the Cricut Joy once again. Stickers, kids love stickers, especially kids two, two to five love stickers. Add them to your Christmas tree and, you know, contactless trick-or-treating. That is awesome. Uh, I would have never thought to combine Christmas and Halloween together. That you just blew my mind. You changed, you changed my world today. Um, can you tell our viewers where they can go for more information? 
Absolutely. You can actually get more information at your local Michaels or michaels.com. You can always find this segment and more on our website at firstcoastliving.net.